This video is going to teach you how to bisect an angle. To bisect an angle, we're going to uh, use our pair of compasses or our compass. You can use either or in this lesson. I don't mind what you call them. Uh, the needle of your compass or your pair of compasses needs to match up with the very corner of your angle. So the vertex of your angle. They, the first thing you need to do is make sure that they match up precisely. Okay. Now, you're going to open up your compass. It doesn't really matter how far you go. Um, I'd say that something like that is about right. So, so it's quite a, quite a generous amount, but not too big. What we're going to do is we're going to draw an arc and it must intersect both lines that have created your angle. So both this line needs to be intersected and this line needs to be intersected. Okay. Now, once you've done that, one of the most important parts of this process, or the most important part of this process, is that you keep the distance between the needle and the pencil exactly the same distance, okay? So they need to be exactly the same distance apart. So I'm going to move my compasses, leaving the distance between the needle and the pencil exactly the same, and I'm going to place my needle on the intersection that I've already made, okay? So I'm going to place the needle on this intersection that I've already made. And I'm going to draw a second arc. I'm going to draw a second arc, okay? Now, that's two steps in. There's one last step. The final step is to place the needle onto the second intersection that you made with your first arc, okay? Then again, we're going to draw an arc with our compass, okay? We're going to draw an arc with our compass. Now, we don't need our compass anymore. We've finished with that because the most important thing is that we've created two arcs that intersect. So these, this intersection here is the most important part of our diagram. Now, I'm going to get a, my pencil and I'm going to go from the corner or the vertex of the angle straight through the intersection of the arcs, and that is a bisection of the angle. So now, this part of the angle, this part of the angle, are going to be exactly the same size. And we can check that using a protractor. So, if I match up the protractor with this side, you should see you've got 0 to 45, and you can see that the whole angle is 0 to 90. Therefore, we've bisected a 90 degree angle into two angles of 45 degrees. Over and out. <laughs> 